Hey YouTube! Let's do a tutorial on French manicure. Um, you all may know if you've tried doing French before, especially if you're watching it and you're, you know, someone that enjoys doing nails and you're probably stuck in your ways. But I'm just going to show you a good way that I learned um, of how to do a French. We've made it super simple, super easy, and it's a lot cleaner. I'm going to take my little fake nail here. I put a little clear tip on it so I can show you the actual precision of it and things like that. All right. And this is how I did the white tips. You see how super square it is, like straight across. You don't really see, you know, any sort of swoop or anything. We take a brush like this, something that's really square, or maybe even something that's smaller, like this. This is really good if you want precision. This is good if you're just gonna, you know dash it across and whatnot. So you be my entire technique for applying it to your nail. Now I take a base coat and I only apply my base coat now to the very tip of the nail, free edge. And I'm gonna explain to you why I do that now. I only apply it to the tip of the free edge because after I apply the white on top of the base coat, when I to go back to use the brush and um, dip it in the acetone to clean up, I don't want my base coat to be all over the entire nail while I'm trying to clean it. So instead of me having to like worry about it being sticky and messy afterwards, I don't have to worry about it because the base coat isn't touching the natural nail, only the free edge where it's painted is. So I'm only cleaning up that part. That is why I'm using the top coat on the free edge here. So I only applied it to the free edge, which is pretty much from here to there. Then I go back, take my white, and I apply that white to where I applied the base coat. Make it into a square. And it doesn't have to be perfect when you're applying the white. It really doesn't because you're going to use that brush to go back in and clean it up. Now I'm going to take a brush out. I'm not going to squeeze the acetone out because that would be kind of pointless in doing it. But I am going to take my brush, and I'm taking this one. You can use a smaller one, you can use a big one if you want to. It's really depends on your preference. Take it, I'm basically just going to take the brush and start in the center, holding my brush downward like this, and just swooping across to clean it up. Swooping it in order to make it pretty um, swirl. Okay. And that's with the bigger brush. Do you see how it's looking more like an oval French? Now if you want more precision, you can use a smaller brush. Which I'm going to show you. Don't dampen out or squeeze out the, the acetone. Keep it in. And pretty much I'm going to just go back in and do the same thing. Taking my brush. I'm going across like this to get that good and even. And now it is more overly instead of straightly square. So that's the good deal about it. And you see the sides are very perfect. So that's good. Now, after I apply the white, then I go in and take my base coat and I cover the entire nail. So 
take this, cover your entire nail, and always make sure you do it on the very ends to seal, the very ends of your free edge, just to seal it in. Base coat is on there now. Perfect. Okay, once it's fairly dry, I'm going to take pretty much color that's um, relatively close to the actual natural nail color. So this is a beige, pretty much. It's, um, this is called sheer peach. But um, any sort of beigey or nice color, whatever um, nail color, or you can use base coats also that are different colors to complement their natural nail beds. But I just take, you know, either it's usually a beige looking color that's really light. And I only apply one coat over it. If you can see. So it still looks, you know, fairly nice. It's just been covered with a very thin, thin layer of a beige. I'm going to do my entire little hand here and I'm going to come back with the end result. Hopefully you learned just a little something. Uh, took off the rate, the video rating thing. I disabled that because if you don't like it, I want to know why you don't like it. If you do like it, thank you for telling me that you like it. I like you too. I'm not a luxury high-end professional. If I was, I would be a celebrity nail tech right now.